I chose to do my lesson this week in Scratch. Scratch is a program that I've been teaching to younger children for um, three to four years. I started teaching at uh, the Montessori school as an after school class. So those were students ranging from third through fourth grade. Uh, and then I taught it in middle school. Uh, I've done some basic projects where you take a game that you start out with a template and uh, give students instructions on how to improve that game and then make it their own. Uh, this year I was teaching for the first time introdu introduction to computer science so I was looking for a way to introduce computational thinking and computer programming concepts to these students but to simplify it a little bit because we were learning Java and JavaScript which are very code heavy and not very visual so I thought I'd give it a try and incorporate Scratch uh, into the programming. So I was looking for some ways to use Scratch to teach some more advanced concepts like variables and uh, if else statements, conditional statements, things like that. So I did some research and I came across uh, a lesson plan online that involved a starter template, which this is, um, the starter template that I found. And on my post and in my lesson plan, I have links to where you can find these templates. Uh, the, the lesson plan was um, really simple. Um, they give you this lesson starter and the students basically would use this starter to create their own version of Mad Libs. So let me just before I talk too much, let me just run through how the program works. So what we can do is play the game here and click the start screen and it asks you some questions and you just answer them by typing and hitting enter. Then the game takes those variables that we've input and plays them into a story and reads the Mad Lib to you. And the way I presented to the kids is, well, that was cute, but how could we make it better? So, well, I would go back to the program, and then what the students are asked to do is to make some basic changes to the story, but then make the story their own. Um, they would change the sprite give him a different costume, change the stage, and most importantly, change the story and use different variables. Uh, this story uses two types of variables. If you click on the variable tab, there's a list variable, which allows you to store m multiple variables under one name, words. And then you can make a basic variable, which we'll put at the beginning. So for example, click make a variable, call it answer make it available for all sprites and then this gives us some options here so what we could do is use an if else statement to add the option here to say um, would you like to play a game and then if the person responds yes then the program will continue. If the person responds no, then the program will stop. So it's a nice way to incorporate variables in two ways, in the list variable and in the simple variable. So that is uh, the task for the students. And then what I can do is show you a finished project. 
So this is a finished project that one of my students created that they then posted on the Scratch website. So what I can do is just click the green flag here. As you can see she added sound and she added that variable that we spoke about. I'm going to say the Bruins because she's obviously a Bruins fan. teacher again you can tell I'm not a sports fan Okay, so the interesting thing now is that we can look at her project and see inside. So if we make the scratch window bigger, what I'll do is I'll just pause and then I'll show you the inside of her program. This looks a little bit different because she was using the online version of scratch, but you can do the same um, coding online or if you download the program to your computer. So you can see she did a lot of extra work on her project. She did some of the extensions that I mentioned in uh, the lesson plan. She added more sprites and she added some if-then statements. It's really a fun project. It really worked well for uh, computer science students at the high school level. It took a little bit more time than I originally anticipated, but it was really fun uh, and I'm really looking forward to doing it next year with some of these modifications that uh, I was able to incorporate after experience and, and from reading some other lesson plans. Thanks very much.